So as promised, we're going to go ahead and make a nut milk, M-Y-L-K milk, right? And this is super easy. So we already have um, soaked cashew nuts, one cup to four cups of water, a little pinch of sea salt. Then the rest is up to you. So when I soak cashew or walnuts or macadamia is really my favorite, I put star anise in it. It just smells like the holidays. It's kind of crazy. You could also take a cardamom pod and smash it and soak your nuts in that overnight and you just get the most intense, cool flavor for your coffees at home and your teas. It's amazing. We'll post a recipe for you. But right now, to make a basic cashew nut milk, we've got one cup of our soaked cashews in here. We have four cups of water. Just gonna go ahead and put it in all at once. I'm gonna put a pinch of good salt. If you wanna add a sweetener or some cinnamon, it's totally up to you. I really like um, Lakanto's uh, sweetener. I don't use a lot of it, I use very little because I've really trained myself to stay off of sweets and sugars. So I try not to have things as, as sweet. It's my personal preference. Okay, so we have a little bit of cinnamon in there too. And again, you just wanna blend at a really high speed. You'll see it come together in the blender, and then we're going to strain it. You, there's also nut bags you can, you can buy online, or I think Organic Roots has them as well, and you can strain the milk that way. All right, here we go. You wanna gradually get up to that high speed. Five, four, three, two, one, okay? So look at, look at that. Am I getting it, guys? Oh my gosh. So awesome. I, I love fresh made nut milks. It's one of my absolute favorite things. It's so great in cereal too. So one of the things that you need to remember is that this only lasts for about four days. Day three, good. Day four, you gotta be really careful. So don't make huge batches. The thing with, with almonds, you're gonna see a ton of pulp. Cashews, you're not gonna see a ton of pulp. We really don't have any, as you can see. All right. Now, I, um, I will tell you that when you have that pulp from your almonds and, and your walnuts, keep it, put it in the freezer, you can make biscuits with it. It's delicious. All right, so here's our, let's get all that extra water out. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it in this jar, too, and store it that way in my refrigerator. You can see the residue that's left, really none. Oh, wait a minute. You can also do this. You can just put these babies in here. I would only put one. It's pretty powerful. You could also put your cardamom pod in at this point, and that flavor is going to leach into your milk, and it's going to be really delicious. All right. So... I think it's time to check on those breads. Let's get them pulled out and see the difference between the one with the egg whites and the one with not. <laughs> 